Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Former Envoy Extreme here, and here we are, this is going to be the ultimate guide to produce TMR to a mixed ration in Farm Simulator 22 in 2024, so there are going to be chapters down below because I'm going to split this up down to the details in terms with bells, how to get these bells and ads, and everything else you need to know about making TMR, where it's from loose in a mixer wagon or from a production. Productions will be later on in the video. As always, time stats will be down below. But yeah, so we need to introduce off what is TMR. So TMR or two mix ration is a, in real life, used mainly for dairy farming. It's mainly a mixture of nutrients, including concentrate, protein, forage, and any other supplements that the cows may need in real life. In terms with Farm Simulator and Farm Sim 22, really the only things you need to worry about is hay, straw, and silage. And there is a fourth option of mineral feed. Some productions require those. We'll look at those later on. But in terms with like, the mix of wagons and that, they are not required. So, to get started off with making TMR, really you need literally two items. Hay and silage. And yeah, I think what we'll start off with is hop into here. So we look at the top left. In between the white arrows are the min and maximum. And the ratios are falling. For hay and silage, the minimum part of product in a set mix is 20%. And the maximum is 75%. Straw is optional from 0, 0%, not required, to 30% at most. And mineral feeds, which is quite expensive, is 0% to 7%. So, so yeah, we've got some mineral feed over here. There we go. Yeah, I'm using this ball pads while by use, but on base game, these are heavy, weigh around 850 or so kilograms. So, you need a pallet fork or a strap of sort. Basically wise, it's only the pallet fork, but if you're using mods, I recommend the CSC pack or the big bag as support. So yeah, let's go and get a mixture going. So I think, yeah, we're gonna use this one here. This one's empty. So this is a base game one. So you'll find this under tools and under animals, so yeah. We've got a couple of options for mixed wagons. I've got this one here. You can go up to a 24,000 year base game. However, if you're using mods, I personally recommend, if budget ain't an issue, using the trail line system 1000 and 4535. So yeah, it is capacity of 45,000 liters. You can feed mixer package. I'll leave all the links to these mods down below, or the name of them, and who it's by. So yeah, things like, yeah, go up to 3,000 litres. So you can proper control of how much you need. And yep, yeah, you'll get into things like ratios and that, so... I think... So yeah, let's use this, so... With this one here, this is a self-propelled mixed wagon. So this, you can... Just extend this and eat up to bells. So, yeah, we've got some bells over here. So, we're assuming a mixture of straw and silage. And yeah, at the moment, that is to mix ration. But yeah, let's go and add some straw in that. There we go. And yeah, so once we go over the min and maximum, see. It goes red, so now that is forage. That could be used as hay as essentially as it comes out. But yeah, all you need to correct it is just add a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And yeah, eventually this will fill up. And yeah, in terms with what you need to put in, personally I recommend using as much straw as possible since it's a very cheap and low viable resource. With silage, I recommend using the minimum because you'll get more out of it than it as a whole. 
whether it's by bulk or by bales, are very close now, and I've cocked this up a little bit. So yeah, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a little bit of mineral feed, so I'm going to fill this up. So yeah, refill mixer. So as you can see, we still haven't corrected it, so I'm going to sell this, but in game, and what you do normally, you can just dump this and that, and yeah, use this as hay, so I'm just going to empty a fair bit, so we need more silage. So yeah, what I'm going to do is go and grab one of these bells, so we're going to need a loader for that, so I'll grab a front loader a sec. So there we go, I've got a full 5,000 litre bell. And yeah, bells come in different shapes and sizes, so I'll go over those in a sec. But yeah, you can get silage via grass and that, and bait it and wrap it. You can collect it and put it into a bunker silo. Or you can get maize silage from corn and even some like your normal grains. But yeah, looking at it now, that is bang on. If anything, we can put a little bit more straw in, so I'm going to risk that. So turn that on. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll consume the straw. Ah, uh, yeah, so yeah, right at the top end of the straw net. Ah, uh, yeah, overall, I'll say that's a decent ratio net. If anything, yeah, as mentioned, I'll go for a bit of a more hay based than that in game. In real life, of course, it's different net. But yeah, in terms of like your other ratios and that, so I've got this one here to the left, so that is pretty much all silage. Reality, as mentioned, you'll do the opposite way. And have that little bit of straw just to pad it out. And yeah, with this one here, I've got 7% mineral feed, and all you need to do is just take over. And yeah, you'll feed your cattle with it. And in terms of your cows and that, for TMR, if it's dairy cows, TMR is the best. If you're doing beef cattle, so yeah, we've got whole scenes here which are dairy cows, but your beef cattle and that that like you're raising for fat in, to be honest, even if you just got hay in that, you can get away with that. Don't do grass at all, it's not worth in that, especially you get twice the amount of effectiveness with hay in that. Of course, if you're on some modding maps, add using modded animal pens. The ratios may be a bit different, things like you'll say 90% silage or that, so you can use silage, that's be a better substitute. I know Pharmacop did a video on this. And yeah, with hay that, if you're just doing beef cattle, personally, just use hay that, sell your straw that, sell your silage, and yeah, you get more of that. So yeah, I've just demonstrated on how you can make TMR via one way. But yeah, let's go over the bells, so what I'm going to do now is pop a photo of all the bells and that, in terms of their sizes. Because yeah, you can get ram bells, you can get square bells, and all sorts. So going from left to right, we got our round size bells, so small bells is 3,500 litres. So if I hop up here, 3,500 litres, 5,500 litres for the 150 centimetre, and... You can get 180 centimeter ram bells, and they are 7,500 litres, onto your square bells. And yeah, for signage, it's 5,000, 6,000, and 6,500 litres. On straw, you got your straw square bells, so that is 7,000, 8,250, and 9,000. Your ram straw bells are 5,000, 7,500, and 11,000. For your hay bells, so just hop up here, so. 6,000, 7,500, oh, sorry, 7,250 and 8,000 litres for your square bells. And for your ram bells, I think that's 3,500, no, 4,500, 6,5 and 9,000. But yeah, I've left that image up just now and yeah, feel free to pause it at then, go back and just look at it. It will also show you grass bells and you can do small baby bells and that, but as seen in the photo, you can get what, like 700 litres of straw in that, so personally it's not worth it. But yeah, so now we know what TMR is, I've just made some. 
We've just showed the bells and that is required and optional. So yeah, let's go now on how to get each of these components. So Omis make straw is via harvesting a rain, so that is wheat, barley or oats. And again, on some modern maps you may be able to get straw from other crops, but I'm talking about base game here, so we've got some weeds here. We'll turn on your harvester and make sure straw swath is enabled. So for me on the PS4, it's L1 and right on D-pad. So we've got straw swath enabled. So yeah, we're going to harvest our crop. We're going to get straw down below. And then for this, you can collect it via a bather or you can use a forage wagon. Alright. We've got a bather and I've got a straw swath here already. This is of course on my test map and my mod review map, so... But yeah, I'm using a square bather and yeah, you can do 180, 220 or 240. Again, once you do enough bells and that over time, you can get a sort of rough idea on what's going to be the best size. Of course, it's still strip here. I'm taking the gamble with some big bells, but... Yeah, from this we'll get about two from this, maybe. Yeah, it helps if you actually keep it lower as well, but... So yeah, you'll get a couple of bells out of it, so... Of course, if you're using a round bather, it'll automatically pop out on that, or you need to turn on automatic drop-in, so... With round baders, there is an option to manually drop. But for your square bells, what you have to do is... Make sure you've got your bell net, so that's ready to come out. So press L1 and triangle. Your bell come out. And yeah, you should drop on the floor. If it sort of like teeters on like on the edge of that but doesn't drop, best way to be is just fold it, it'll pop out, and then Bob's your uncle. So that's how you make your straw. But also, as mentioned, you can forge it. So there we go, we've got a forage wagon and yeah, in terms with what you'll use this for is in terms with obviously bedding that, so that as it is, of course as well you can use it for TMR, so how would you do is you'll pick this up and you can either just dump it on the ground somewhere or in a shed, or if you're using a hate off you can dump it in there. Yeah, so we've got your base game hate off, so that be under silo, so yeah, just mark whatever down here. And then yeah, what you can do is bring your mixer wagon over. Or if you want to be use a bucket in that, then yeah, you can do that. And yeah, we do have silage additive in here, and for base game stuff, that is only for silage, and I'll go over silage additive a little bit for when we do the silage. So there we go at the hayloft, and yeah, just simply dump your straw in here. And I'm pretty sure as well with base game, you can put bells in here, but again, with some mods and that, if you fancy using those mods, there's like the same version of this that accepts bells, and yeah, there are literally hundreds of mods on the mod hub just for storing your bells and that. Or just storing in general your loose straw and that, or bell straws and that, to be converted into loose and that, so... Yeah, that is section for straw. Yeah, as mentioned, I recommend using this as a padding material. Because, yeah, it is cheap and abundant. And if you're conveniently doing grain and that, then, yeah, do straw and that. Co collect it, bathe it, store it, do whatever you want. And then, yeah, use it as padding. It's gets you a lot farther and yeah the money you can be saving by being able to sell your hay and slash or your silage is gonna be worth it next we're gonna be moving on to your hay so moving on to hay essentially hay is grass that is cut and then dried via tedding so that's what we've got here and then yeah it's best once you've tedded to a windrow and yeah, I do have some hay here already. Nope, that is grass gnats here. But this is hay over here, so... 
But yeah, I'll show just a quick demonstration with Moen and Tedin. So for just the purpose of this video, I'm using the Chrome Big M450 malware. This is the base game mod. So yeah, all you have to do is just turn it on. And yeah, you set your mouse while dropping in that. And yeah, before I know we're going to be Ted in that. But yeah, I still recommend doing swap drop in just so it saves the amount of you need to do. And then yeah, we'll just go add to mo. And for a little cheeky bonus, if you want the fast farm, press L1 and double tap X, so fold and unfold. So I'm going to tap X twice. There we go. Fast farming is enabled and yeah, that means you can mow at the top speed of the mower itself. Just come along with your tether, make sure it's unfolded and lowered. So yeah, that is turning the grass dry. And yeah, with unlike with Farm Simulator 19, you don't need to wait a day or two for it to actually dry that. Which is the thing I do miss that. But yeah, with FS32, that is instant hay and you can bait it, collect it. I'm going to show collecting it. I'm just going to do a little quick demonstration on the bathing. But yeah, so you can bail as is, but personally I recommend a windrow this, so when you're collecting it with a forge wagon, a bucket, even that, you can do that instead, or whatever. It yeah, just makes it life so much easier. So there we go, I'm using the base game Chrome Swadro. So yeah, all that's going to do now is pick up all the loose grass. And yeah, it's going to put in a nice little swath now. So when we come around with the baiter or forge wagon, we can just pick it all up and save some amount of trips required. Which means saving on diesel costs and that. And yeah, get it done quicker and cheaper. But yeah, so now moving on to the baiting part of it. And yeah, that is grass belts there. That is for the signage. I'm just doing this in different sections as I initially planned. But yeah, so I've got this math swap here and that. And this is possible if you just want to do constantly windrow and that all over and over and over again. But yeah, we're doing middle sized bells. And yeah, once again, you're bathing. It's going to poop outside, like so. And then yeah, you could pick this up with a bell loader and that, store it. Or if you want to use it for TMR, either via production, and yeah, you can use the loader for that. Load onto a bell loader, and then take it to the production, or yeah, come on with a fork, stack it in that, or bell spike, stack onto a trailer, and yeah, store it for a later date. And yep, yeah, you can also use the hay as a primary feed for sheep. So that is the guide to hay. Moving on to making silage, so this you do it at, via a few ways, via a bunker silo to ferment, that's going to take a month, or just bell and wrap it, and in terms of bell and wrapping, you've got a couple of options, you've got some baiters that can do bell and wrapping, they tend to be only for your ram bells via base game, but if you've got square bells and that, as long as they're 180 centimeters or 220, you'll be able to wrap it just fine. If so, yeah, small or medium size. But if you go with the large, then yeah, you're gonna have issues with wrapping. But then again, there's also mods that let you wrap large bells. So again, depending on what you're using. So yeah, to make your size bells. So I've got some here, and yeah. What you're going to do is turn it on, actually lower said implement. So, yeah, we're doing 150 centimeters ram bells. And, yeah, personally, I recommend doing this just because it makes life so much easier. In terms with, again, less bells to handle. And that's going to wrap it. And, yeah, in real life, you'll wrap this about 18 to 22 times. But in Farmstead Worlds, yeah, doesn't really need to do that, and then, yeah, drop it, like so, and then, yeah, coming off. So, yeah, if we go over here and have a look, so, yeah, see that is fermenting. So, that's going to take one month to do, so, 
if you're on one day mumps it's usually sleep and that'll be ready about this time tomorrow if you're doing multiple days so for example if we're in april 5th not until may 5th we'll be able to have it fully fermented but if you use multiple days sometimes the game will sort of what's we'll it glitching at but it will ferment less than an actual month so Again, if that explains why you're getting some weird bells being ready a lot earlier, like halfway through the usual time, that is why. Moving on to foraging, so this will get you chaff, and then yep, yeah, put it in a bunker silo, compact it, and then cover it. And yep, yeah, there are one baiter base game, the Crone Big Pack Baiter, or if I actually showed the name of it, it's not a pack and that, but... So yeah, I don't know it is big pack. So yeah, that is the only base game beater that lets you have the option for such additive. And yeah, all the others are just yeah. No such additive whatsoever. And why would you need such additive? The reason why is you get an extra 5% yield bonus, so 5% more for free basically, or for low cost than that. And yeah, you can purchase your size here in your store net. Quite expensive. But again, there's mods in that, there's like the drum in that, the size active drum. And there's also other mods of similar versions of this. But for a discount, again, have a discovery on mod up in that. I'll leave some mods I recommend down below. And yeah, I don't have the size added drum here, I don't think. No, I don't. But anyways, we've got a corn that is fully ready. But, actually, let's turn this off a sec. But with corn itself, it takes six months to grow fully via base game without seasons. However, once, once it's about halfway through, around about three months or so, when it's like this, but green. That is ready to chaff. And uh, yeah, I've done a video in the early days of FS22 and... Oh yeah, I'll leave that as a link down below and at the end of the video. And I'm pretty sure when I did that test, when you make your silage from your corn nat, it doesn't matter if it's fully ready or halfway ready, the yieldage is pretty much exactly the same. There's some, maybe some minor couple percent differences, but it's within less than 3 to 5 percent and yeah with that all you can do is yeah plant corn again so the time it takes you to do corn via full cycle so they grow for six months you can do two loads of corn three months each and yep be happy as day so yeah we're forging your corn nets so yeah that's the chaff and then, yeah, once this is full, you'll put this into a bunker silo. Like so, for example, here, I've got a full trailer, though. Again, I'm using a modded trailer, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So, all you have to do is simply unload here. See, we've got a field level of chaff and a level of compacting. So, yeah, as we go along, I'm just going to empty at a faster rate than you'll see normal. Then, once it gets to the end, Make sure you close this, otherwise you're going to leak out some chaff nat. And yeah, be careful with compacting as well, because without a mod I'm using, which I'll go over a sec, if you compact this, it will just spin out. But yeah, if you want to prevent it from spinning out, mine are doing a little glitchy just because I'm doing two sets. I'm using a mod called the Bunker Soils, Bunker Soils Set by Top8888. And yet, yeah, to be exact, go to your silos. And yeah, I'm using this thing he here, the bunker silo tipping area free. So yeah, all you have to do is lines up onto the edge of your bunker silo. Make sure it's yeah vaguely on the edge. And yeah, you can place it via free mode or not. Doesn't make a difference. Make sure the dirt texture is on the outside of the silo. So. When we're compacting this, the silage ain't gonna spin out at all, or the chaffing out, should I say. So, yep, yeah, once you get this all done, filled, and compacted, like for example, what I'm using here, so there's 
ways of compacting their zip in that. Or a personal favorite for me is just get a tractor that with a bunch of weights. And yeah, just go back and forth. And yeah, just keep on compacting. And then, yeah, jobs are good. There is rollers that you can use that. A personal recommendation for a mod is the Lizard Roller Pack. This is by Phyronis FS and Holtz FS. And yeah, all it is is a roller that you use for rolling fields. But you can use it to pretty much, yeah, flatten your bunker silos. And yeah, it does it at such a high and efficient rate that makes what we've just done here with, yeah, 216,000 liters. That'll get that done in seconds, like instantly, like half the time that in one pass. But yeah, once you get it filled, you cover it and it ferment for exactly a month to the minute and well, more so to the hour. And yeah, I've pre-done this already, so this has been fully fermented. And again, using that bunker slow set mod by Top Ace 888. And yeah, we're able to fill this up to the maximum. And for this one here in particular I'm using, that is 3.1 million litres. And then, yep, yeah, you can collect this via main ways, conveyor belts and that. All I like to do, personally, is via a wheel loader and a size fork. And then, yep, yeah, from here, you can sell it as is. Or, again, use it for TMR. And, personally, when I'm doing slidage with TMR and that, I want to use as little as possible. So, yeah, using something like this can find control how much I want to put in. So, that is full. That ain't a ticking thing. But if you go over here, that is empty. So yeah, I was going to dump that in there. Again, depending on what you're using, it can be a bit iffy in that. Personally, I'll say more so use a, uh, what's it, a high dump bucket where it lets you tip over. And then yeah, that is your little guide to signage on how to use that for producing TMR but obviously on to the main part now we're going to be looking at how to optimize because yeah I've gone over already in terms with the ratios minimum of 20% and maximum of 75% for hay and silage straw 0 to 30% get as close to 30% as possible and mineral fees as it's just an optional personally I don't use it in that but yeah, if you've got a production chain, maybe that produces mineral fee, like the ones I'm going to recommend here today, later on. So yeah, feel free to use that as you wish. But yeah, it's all good saying percentages here and there, but how does this translate to Bell? So, for example, with this mix wagon here, I know we've already put 8,000 litres of silage in. This holds 22,000 litres, so you'll need... 4,400 litres of hay and silage as a minimum and a maximum of 16,500 litres and yeah for straw obviously none or up to 6,000 litres personally what I do to recommend is put a small straw bell in because yeah if I get that photo up of the table yeah so you can see straw bells and that Small round bell, 5,000 litres. So yeah, for this mix wagon here specifically, yeah, it's within the percentages. So whack one who's in. That leaves you with 17,000 litres left. So personally, I recommend chucking a, this could be two large bells. That is 16,000 litres. Or yeah, if you're doing round bells, maybe two like, 150 centimetre bells and that. And then, yeah, a little bit of size you that, chuck the rest of the bell in there. And then, yep, yeah, with that, what I'll do is I'll mix it up and get the perfect ratio as you require. But what I'm going to do now instead is just quickly tell you on how much you need for each bell type. So this is all your small bells and that and everything else. So for your 125 centimeter bells, one silage, one straw and three hay. That leaves you with 500 liters left. Again, this is using the 22,000 liter mixed wagon as an example. For your 150 centimeter round bell, so your medium size, one hay, I'm sorry, two hay and one silage. 
And then you get any space left over. You can fill up with straw if you wish. For your massive 180 meter ramp bells, one silage, one hay, and put rest of the straw bell in or half bell in, depending on what you're using. Moving on to your square bells, you've got two hay, one silage, and the rest straw in that. And for, yeah, all your other large bells, square bells, exactly the same. So a personal ratio I use is a 2 1 1. Two hay, one silage, and one straw. That is, if I had to sort of give a quick advice, that would be that. But yeah, I'll say go with hay first, then your straw, and then, yeah, silage in that. Obviously, if you know what you're using in terms with the mixer wagon's capacity, then yeah, you adjust how much straw you're putting in. And then, yeah, the more expensive product of silage, that will go in there. And yeah, again, mineral feed is realistic, but in terms of farm sim terms, Honestly, it ain't. Bells in. So yeah, we've no bells in. Just as a whole. I'm going to grab all these bells here. So, I'm grabbing those two. And yeah, I'll grab you. So yeah, this is the big bag and... Winch, or big bag support pack. And yeah, so grab all these bells. So yeah, we've got 187 meter large. Hay bell and size bell. And yeah, I think I got a little inky dinky. Yeah, a small round straw bell. So yeah, if we just get this. As you know, yeah, let's get this empty in a sec. Mix wagon is empty. And yeah, I'm gonna chug these bells in like so. And yeah, because I know I've done the math, these are gonna be a more or less perfect mixture if you just want to chuck whole bells in. And yeah, once again, using this for bells. But that's just the purpose of the video. Once all is said and done, you can see we got a pretty much again a good ratio. Got a little bit of space left over that, 18%. So yeah, we could chuck in a, another little sh small hay bell. And what that would do is, yeah, brings it to a nice level. And that's, this is something I'll tend to use in that. And, yep, yeah, all you have to do is just feed your cows. You can sell it in that, TMR in that, depending on what map and what mods you're using. But it's not worth it in that, like, the size you're using, just sell it as is. But, yeah, so we'll offload the food in. And because we had a little bit of heat bell in, I think that went up a little bit more than that. So yeah, if you've got excess bells in, once it goes down that, it fills it up. And then like so, that is our cows fed. So, yep, they're finally dandy in that. That's going to have some a little bit. So yeah, that is, yeah, just in general, a short little introduction there in terms of how to operate these big wagons and all that. But on to our final section where we're going to be looking at productions and I've got five mods that I personally recommend and I'll demonstrate each and all of them off on how to use them off to make TMR on a large scale and with minimal work involved. Moving on to our productions first of all we got the Sokin Static Line this is by Smetty this was released in the 13th of January 2023. And yeah, I've got the large version that lets you, yep, yeah, make silage in that. Oh, sorry, not make TMR from, yep, yeah, silage, hay, and straw. And what you'll find is, with a lot of these productions I'll be using, they tend to focus more on the silage part. Yeah, personally, I'll, again, if I'm doing it manually with a mixed wagon, I'll use pay more than that, but regardless, this is one of the top ones I'll use in that, recommend. So yeah, I'm just going to put some hay in and fill this up. So yeah, this is filled, and yeah, all I have to do is just turn this on, and yeah, we'll get 2,000 euros of TMR per cycle, 240 cycles in a month, that leads to 480,000 euros a month, so yeah, compared to the other ones we can be looking at, apart from one, this is on the lower end, but again, if you've got a small farm in that, 
This ain't too bad, especially in course easy ground to place. So yeah, you'll find this under your production tab, as with everything. And for this, it's towards the end. So yeah, you got this one here. And yeah, you got a small one here, which just looks like a normal mixed wagon. And then, yeah, this will accept bells. This charge is out here, and yeah, just bring a tray over and that, or even the mixed wagon. I yeah, fill it up in that. So yeah, that is the Sonic Cane Static Line by Smitty. Next, this is part of the American Size Pack by TK Farms. And yeah, part of this is... Has an option to make TMR. So yeah, with this, what you do is you fill it up via the back here. And yeah, let me just quickly get these filled up a sec. And yeah, once filled up, yeah, just make sure you turn it on. So yeah, this will hold 750,000 years of each product. Again, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, as with everything here. But yeah, with a thousand years produced per cycle and 108 cycles per month, this is the slowest of just 108,000 years. But yeah, overall, ain't too bad. It's very small, very compact. So if you're on a small farming act, yeah, not too bad. A bit larger than the static line. But yeah, again, you'll find this under productions. And yeah, with this, you got you know, fermented silos, grass dryers and that. And yeah, we've got the TMR silo, so you want the large steel one. You do have a small one and a stave one, but yeah, these are smaller. And yeah, I think they're a little bit slower as well. I haven't checked for those, but yeah, this is the fastest one for sure. Yeah, fastest one actually, the kind of notes, and produces the most amount. So yeah, this is part of the American Size Pack by TK Farms. Next, we've got something a bit more realistic. So if you're one who's a bit of a realistic vibe, I recommend the Calfi Mixture by Zolzoct. It was as updated to patch 1.0.0.1, just minor adjustments it was, back in the 29th of September in 2022. And yeah, with this, there's a little production plan that. But yeah, also I forgot to mention the cost, like the fermenting, not the fermenting steel silo, but the TMR large silo, 125 grand, so that's a bit of a thing to note, notice. But yeah, with the Kelfi mixture, it's not much better. 150 grand in that. And yeah, it does require all three of the types, including mineral feeds. So yeah, let me get this filled up a sec. And to do that, all you have to do is go over each of these triggers. So, the one on the front here is for your hay. Middle one is silage. And that back one is straw, but unfortunately, I'm not aligned to put the straw in. I don't think. Nope. Complete off whack that and off kilter. And yeah, got everything else filled. The mineral feed goes in this section here. And yeah, capacities over a million litres of your types now. 1.8 million litres for your silage, which makes sense. Since that is the predominant product of using 45%. And yeah, the mineral feed uses what, 5%? So yeah, it's right in balance of the ratios. Now get your term expression, and with this, it's yeah, a one to one thousand years per cycle at 600 cycles a month. That is, of course, 600,000 a year. So, yeah, faster than the other two, actually, faster than the other two combined. And yeah, it's a bit more very realistic, I'll say. I've all the ones we're gonna be looking at. I'll say this is the most realistic in that in terms of the silo space store in that. And yeah, it all comes out of this little pipe here. And yeah, just fill up your trailer net or your wagons. So yeah, that is the Calfeer Mixer by Zodelzot. Next, we're going to be looking at the Farm Supply Factory as part of the Farm Factory mod by the one and only Miss Omatona. And yeah, she has other mods in that. that has the ability to produce TMR in that, but. This one here is a personal favourite of mine. Not just because this is like the one hand only mod you would ever need to pretty much produce anything on FS22 Nat. 
but I'm just looking at in terms of the principles and ranking on the principles of making TMR. So everything goes into here. I've already filled this up partially. And your output is here under the pipe. And yeah, so you can make TMR via a different amount. So you could just use hay, straw and silage. Or just silage and hay. Or all four mixture combined. So yeah, mineral feed capacity is 300,000 litres. Everything else, like the hay, silage and straw, that is 5 million litre capacity. That is so... Yeah, I'll say, yeah, holds a lot in that. But it is needed because with looking at any of these and that, 12,000 litres being produced, 240 cycles a month. That is an staggering 2.88 million litres of TMR produced a month. Now, yeah, the cost for this, 50 grand. Just a mere 50 grand to get rid of that. So, yeah, once again, under your productions tab and yeah these all appear in different orders and that so you've got your farm factory now which can produce your normal stuff but you've got your farm supply factory which yeah can produce a fair bit of stuff as far as to recommend no core options and that but yeah feel free to place this whenever and to be honest there's not much more to say about that this is the personal favourite and doesn't quite hit the top recommendation and I'll explain why later on but yeah on to our final mixer and that which I personally recommend is the feed mixing plants M and XXL this is by DS Power this just had an update what a couple of days ago by the time this comes out and yeah I'm using the normal XXL version and yeah you can produce TMR with this again a one-to-one -one ratio with just the three basics or all four products. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna fill this up a sec. And yeah, it's not the highest of capacities in that, I will admit. But what it makes up in that makes up in not just how fast in that, but obviously the options in that. You can do two of these at once if you want to. 150,000 years of your base products and 100,000 years of mineral feed. Of course, that mineral feed is gonna last a while. But yeah, as mentioned, this is by DS Power. And in terms of your output in that, this will produce, with just one, 3,550 litres per cycle at 480 cycles per month. That is a staggering 1.7 million litres. So yeah, fairly substantial, I'd say. Of course, this would need to top it up multiple times a month, so... That is a downside to that. But this will accept bales, so if you've got a bunch of bales, just leave it here, it'll consume it as and when. And yeah, if you're using like the modded bale, so like the selectable bell capacity or the quick quick bells and that. 50,000 year huge bells and that, just whack them here. Boss your uncle, that will ask you a fair while. But yeah, in terms of my personal rankings. So yeah, actually, then before I go on to that, let's look at placing this down. So, what's getting about halfway down? Got a medium version if you want to produce this amount, but personally, I recommend using this. And yeah, in terms of stock counts, I haven't gone over that, but yeah, overall these aren't that high in stock counts. Yeah, 50 grand to place. I'll say this is the top one I recommend. Just because of the better output, it costs less compared to... P2, which we'll look at in a sec. So yeah, all five of these silos I do recommend using. But out of the five, in fifth place is the American silo. And yeah, the only reason is just because of the small output in that. But I recommend it because it's a good start one. If you've got low amounts of cow in that, 100,000 litres a month will get you quite a bit of the ways. Like base game, only holds a very small amount and yeah eight cows that's gonna last you a fair while but yeah it's a good starter a very small footprint moving on to p4 we've got the cow feed mixer again this is a personal thing and the reason why it's rated low because of the size and the cost but what it makes up is the more realism in that out of everything we're gonna be looking at 
Moving on to P3. <laughs> Controversial. But it's this one here. Ah, uh, yeah. The reason why it's sitting down is purely because of the size and that. The size and that, compared to the top two and that. Obviously, if you've taken into consideration the other factors that this could produce, then yeah. This is the top mod to have in that. But in terms of TMR, I'll rank this P3. And P2. This is what I used on my survival challenge in that. And when I had, what, like a thousand cattle in that, or fifteen hundred cattle, something like that. This kept up fine in that, for the most part. 480,000 liter, so... Yeah, not too bad. And yeah, it is such versatile, and just with the way how it looks, it blends in with the farms and that very well. So, it does just stick out like a sore thumb and that. You can put this on anywhere on the farm, and it will just, yeah, blend in. But yeah, so, top one is the Femeat, and yeah, a lot too. Yeah, it's got a slightly larger footprint. But again, this also can be blended into the farm and suited for any farming that. So, yeah, that's just my personal rec recommendation of the mods. I'll leave things down below for those. But yeah, so that is the ultimate guide to produce TMR. We've looked at the forage wagons, how to make TMR, what it's for. We've looked at the bells and how to produce said bells. And other ways you could produce such items like silage and that and collect them via other means and yeah I even looked at some of the mods that, that you can use in that and yeah I think that is pretty much everything covered so yeah as always there's timestamps down below so if you want to look back at individual sections I'll make sure this is properly timestamped by the time this comes out and yeah and as always hope you enjoyed this little look at ultimate guide to making TMR and as always smash that button Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share this, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for a juice to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, see you from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.